Core Activation Part 4. This is where we're putting it all together. But we'll talk about um, a pair of muscles called the obliques first. There's two on either side, the external and the internal. Now if you locate this muscle that goes right down the center, um, on some people you can feel, you can notice a six pack when they're contracting their muscles here. That's the rectus abdominis. We want to go outside of that. So locate that muscle in the middle and then move out to the sides about three inches and you'll find kind of a little divot, or at least I have one, I'm pretty skinny. There's a divot there, or it flattens out. Apply a little bit of pressure and contract the muscle under your fingers. Now you'll notice the muscle pulls into the body. It doesn't bulge forward. So that's, that's when you know you found the obliques. The rectus abdominis in the middle, it bulges forward when it contracts. Okay, so this muscle will become useful for core stabilization as well. And I'll talk about it a little bit later. So on to putting it together. Now imagine there's an egg lying on its side in the middle of your abdomen. So the top of the egg is on your side, the bottom of your egg is on the side, and the sides of the eggs are on the front, the back, the bottom, and the top. Okay, so you're holding the bottom of the egg with your pelvic floor, the sides, the front, and the back with your TA, your multifidus, and the obliques, which I just talked about. The top of the egg is held with the diaphragm when you breathe in. Okay, so obviously when you breathe in, maybe it's not so obvious, but when you breathe in, the diaphragm drops and it pushes pressure down onto the other muscles beneath it. So what we're going to do is we'll hold the muscles on and take a breath in and try your best to hold the muscles on while you're breathing in completely. Okay, so pull the pelvic floor up and you can find those muscles again. If you want, find the TA, engage it, engage the multifidus from the back, and then a light engagement of the oblique. So just like I said in the last parts, we want these to be on about 50%. Also, you wanna be able to hold them on without tensing the rest of your body especially your jaw, your face, your shoulders, your arms. You want everything else to be relaxed. Okay, so hold the muscles on. Breathing in and out the nose, a three-part complete breath. And begin now. Hold it on, hold it on. And exhale, keep holding it on. Hold it on, breathing in. So the idea is to apply pressure so that you're holding the egg still, but not so much that you're gonna break the egg. And exhale. Two more times, breathe in, hold the egg still. Exhale. One last time. And exhale. Okay, release the muscles. You can practice that and then move on to core activation part five, which incorporates movement.